uh, we've had a deep partnership with Microsoft for many, many years. And I'm super excited uh, to play uh, a video that I just recorded with a CEO of Microsoft Satya Nadella. And just after we spoke, just a couple of days ago, we actually closed uh, a deepening of our partnership. Uh, we're extending the partnership that we have well into the 2030s. Uh, and we're super committed to Microsoft Azure Databricks. I'm really excited to announce that all of these features are now in public preview through a new um, launch called Iceberg Managed Tables. Um, very, yeah, thanks. Yeah, the, the, uh, very excited to see uh, what you all do with it. But yeah, we've been working hard over the past year and, and excited to bring it out. Really excited to announce GA of um, Unity Catalog Metrics. Um, thanks. Yeah, what is Unity Catalog Metrics? It's a semantic layer. You can define measures and dimensions, ways to aggregate and compute data in your company. Uh, we think it's a, it's a great design of the semantic layer. But the really unique thing about it is that the metrics are right there in your catalog. So every type of computation you do on our platform or in external BI tools understands them in the same way. The um, second thing that we're launching in preview is Unity Catalog Discover. So this is a whole new way of organizing data and making it accessible internally. Thanks to all the hard work of the community, Apache Spark 4.0 is the greatest release yet. We continue to improve SQL with the addition of SQL UDFs and the new pipe syntax, which lets you chain complicated transformations using a simple intuitive syntax. Where seconds aren't enough, you need sub-second millisecond latency. And that's why at Databricks, we've recently been working on a new mode called real-time mode. Real-time mode opens up structured streaming to these operational use cases by fundamentally changing the way streaming operates. Instead of running micro-batches, where we decide ahead of time what data is going to be processed, we start long-running tasks that are continually polling for new data. And so that means we can process it immediately upon arrival. But now, it's time to take the next step. And that's why I am super excited to announce that we are contributing Spark declarative pipelines to Apache Spark. And so now, instead of having to wrangle all of these different technologies with just a few lines of SQL, you can actually build an end-to-end -end production pipeline. So I am super excited to share that our family just got much bigger. I am very excited that we are now evolving DLT into Lakeflow declarative pipelines. And this is a trans transparent evolution. Your code will continue to work. There's zero migration required. In fact, if you're using DLT, as of today, your DLTs become declarative pipelines. Now, what if these weren't separate worlds? What if data intelligence could bring them together? Well, we think that it can. And that's why today we're announcing Lakeflow Designer, production quality ETL, no code required. Thank and you. we have big news. We're excited to announce the next gen version of the data warehouse. This next gen version of the data warehouse is 29% better in performance, but we're also increasing the price uh, by 35%, OK? Um, just joking. This was last week, OK? <laughs> we have to have some fun. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're actually doing. Uh, we improved the performance by 25%, and we didn't change the price at all. Uh, so it's just released now, and it's available in DB SQL everywhere today. And about six months ago, what we did is we also acquired BladeBridge, right, which is one of the leading providers of automated tooling from data warehouses that basically hundreds and hundreds upon migrations have been done using that. And together, the power of those two gives me the pleasure to announce LakeBridge, right? So LakeBridge is a free, open, AI-powered uh, migration to modernize your data warehouse. Well, so we have a exciting announcement uh, to make, which is that we're bringing the Gemini models uh, to all of Databricks. Uh, so super excited about that. Yeah. And that's why I'm thrilled to be able to tell you now that AIBI Genie, with the success we've seen, we're, we're, we're making it generally available to everyone today. <laughs> so what this means is that with Databricks AIBI, you have full BI capabilities with leading edge AI built on the world's best data science platform with open semantics, all for free. We are super excited to announce that we're introducing deep research mode in Genie. 
So deep research mode takes advantage of the latest in LLM reasoning and the knowledge store that's already inside Genie to tackle these types of open-ended questions. And so that's why we are thrilled to announce to you the introduction of Databricks 1. And this is what it looks like. Databricks 1 is a brand new experience for Databricks, designed specifically for business users. We want it to be the one place they go, they, they go to to get data and AI. I, I thought I'd just summarize all of our announcement these last two days. Um, I'll do that quickly. Lakebase, you heard about it. Separated compute and storage coming to transactional databases. Agent Bricks will optimize an AI system for you and give you evals built in. And then we saw DLT being open sourced as declarative pipelines inside Spark, real time mode, millisecond latency open sourced also as part of Spark, and the Lakeflow Designer, completely democratized access, completely no code, data engineering, but behind the scenes under the hood is just Spark declarative pipelines, unit catalog metrics, the vocabulary for your enterprise, Lakebridge using LLMs to do migrations uh, from various data warehouses into Databricks. AI BI, we just saw it now. It's awesome. You get AI top drivers, everything built into your BI dashboards. Um, Databricks apps, easiest way to access the data that you already have, authenticated, secure. Uh, and we have free edition of Databricks, where everybody gets a slice of it, best way to learn data and AI. And then we also shared that Gemini LLMs are coming to Databricks.